I love to cook and I love to provide food for my friends and family. Everyone loves good food, so that's just my way of giving love back to them and that's what I do. One day I was talking to my girlfriend, we were trying to figure out what our purpose should be. It just came to me to feed people. You know, I'd be going to lunch and seeing people outside with signs asking for food. It just kind of tied in with what I already love to do. I went and bought some stuff from Jewel, like made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and from there it just grew. I've been feeding people on the street for seven years now. Once a week, I'll head out on my lunch break and I'll go pick up about 20 sandwiches. When I go out, there are people who I see, who I have a relationship with. I see them every week. We both get things out of it. I get love from them, they get love from me. Thank you, I love you too. God bless you. I do believe Kasanya is deserving of something special because she's a selfless person. She doesn't look for recognition for what she does. She does it straight from her heart. Anything that's given to her, it's well deserved. Hi, Kasanya. Hi. Hi. So Jewel heard about all the great work that you're doing across the community, so today we wanted to celebrate you. Oh my gosh. We know that you're a frequent shopper at Jewel, so here's a $500 gift card. Thank we also you. have some groceries. We have some snacks for you so you can continue to help people in need. Thank you so much. You're I so appreciate welcome. that. I want to tell Jewel thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate everything that you've done and what you're doing. I'm just grateful for everything. People can learn from a story like this that is it's okay to give. We just have to put one foot forward and do it. It doesn't take a lot for people to do good. If you're helping one person or 1,000 people, yeah. it's still gonna make a difference. It's a big deal. 